so it looks like our separations are just about done. Let's put on some gloves, pull these out, and we need to mark the solvent front. Then we can let them dry and make our measurements. Mark the solvent front with some pencil dots. Pretty cool. Put the lids back on because these are stinky. So we have our solvent front marked on each of these. So now we're letting them dry and we'll do some measurements to get our RF factors. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna see if I can't use the Sharpie up at the very top of each of these to put the number actually on them. So All right, so we're gonna let these dry. And then once they're dry, we're gonna make our measurements. You can already see some similarities. And here's our note. So we can do a comparison. everything's dry. So when, we, when we calculate our retention factor, basically what we're going to do is figure out how far each of the bands here, how far they moved uh, relative to um, the solvent front. So basically we started at about one centimeter up. In this case, our solvent front moved just under, it's about 6.4 centimeters. Whereas, say, our yellow band moved a little over five centimeters. And then we have some additional magenta colored bands, some purple bands and blue bands that move different distances. And so for each of these, we'll calculate a, a retention factor. And then we can use those to compare to all of the other inks that we see. We can count the number of bands, um, look at the colors, what looks different, what looks the same, whether the same number of bands, whether it appears they have the same uh, number of dyes in the inks. And, uh, and then of course, where the retention factors match up and that's gonna help us identify which ink wrote the note. I'm gonna post all of the data. I will not calculate the retention factors for you. I will post them on Blackboard so that you can do your retention factor calculations and your analysis.